What's your name? I'm Carly. Carly. Oh, yes. Nice to meet you. Yes, I need your help, please. Oh. oh. I want my sex life back. Oh, oh damn. Wow. That bad. Yes, oh. yes, yes, it's that bad. Carly, I wasn't expecting <laughs> you to say that. <laughs> Fucking awful bad. Okay. Oh. <laughs> How did this all start? A good friend of mine is a tattoo artist. Just popped in to sort of say hello. Can I get a little bit of ink? I had an idea because I like stick men, so I wanted a stick man. He kind of started the tattoo, and I could tell something was going a little bit off. So I had a look, and it was funny at the same time as not funny, but I couldn't have a half-finished tattoo, so I agreed to let him carry on. And then it just kind of evolved from there to the wonderful, tragic, fucking masterpiece that it is today. <laughs> what other areas of life is this affecting? Mainly the sex life. OK. There are certain positions that we can't partake in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just very aware that it's there, and the only way I can throw it, when I'm on the flip side, uh -huh. it's, it can't be too nice for him. Oh. Yes, so. So you've so. got an inappropriate tattoo in an inappropriate place. Yeah. It's in your bum crack. <laughs> right up in there. Do you see how I need help now? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I can totally understand. What can we do to help? I quite like, like, moths or, you know, something quite dark. Right, Carly. I've steered slightly away from moth, but I've still stuck with the insect theme. Um, and I've gone for a cute little bumblebee for you, but with sort of a mandala design around it, and then this will fit nicely down that your bum crack. Nice. I do like that. That is very nice. Mm. So I've gone for a moth. <gasps> and you said you like things a little bit dark, so I've put a tiny little skull inside there. And this is the area for cover. I do like that. I would say they're both amazing. They're really, really nice, but I'm sort of gravitating much more towards this one because it's probably with a skull kind of fits in more with me um i'm i've been through a bit of a turbulent let's say four or five years health wise and i'm kind of out of control with the way that my body looks in certain areas because of what's happened to me in operations and in the hospital and choices that i've had to make is that not really scary yeah I suppose I made the choices to do it because I saw my, my grandma and her mum die of those cancers. So it's hereditary by 50%. So I'll, my daughter Faith will have a 50% chance of, of having the gene and she won't find out until she's about 18. Wow. I am covered in scars where I've had all of these operations and my breasts are not my own anymore. I can't have children. Mm. I've, I've aged a lot because of it. So I just feel a bit lost, a little bit out of control. Mm. So um, I'm like, right this is the right time to have something for me. So what can we do for you today? Well, I was actually thinking about getting um, something that I've already got covered up. Just looks like a blue blobby little squiggly thing, isn't it? It is just a splodge. What do you want to cover it with? I'm just looking for something to represent what I've been through. Mm. Something with a bit of strength. Something feminine. Definitely feminine. And not splodgy. And not splodgy. Cool. So we've got a flower a couple smaller flowers and just some feminine dots, just to give it a bit of depth. Lovely. Very nice. Mm. I like those feminine dots. <laughs> yeah, feminine I like dots. the dots. <laughs> I'm going to put just some dots. of them in. <laughs> so I've gone for Boom. a heart. We'll get lots of, like, little pretty blossoms in there, lots of, like, swirly, girly bits. Um, and then I think a heart is just... It's really feminine and pretty. Beautiful. This is... Absolutely stunning, but very similar to what I've already got on my body. Even though I adore you and I'd love you to tattoo me, Aww. because you're very cute, for me to slam dunk, I'm going to go with you, darling.